hello there good morning 3d evangelist here um, just want to show you real quickly something that I use uh, a lot it's called NetFab basic you can download the software on the website of NetFab and you also have a paid version but I'm I'm satisfied with what they offer here and what I use it for is um, when I have certain files that I download or that I get from customers sometimes there are tiny little mistakes in them and how do they get in them well it depends on in what software you design them and sometimes it just has to do with the fact that you export it as an STL file uh, it's not your personal mistake but if you go to a printer then it could be important that it's mistake free now usually with FDM printers there's not going to be a problem but if you take it to the next level it could be a problem as most of the time those printers need a mistake free file so what do we do here you see the big red cross here if you click on it triangles appear and you can look at the third tab which says repair scripts what repairs the software will do for you so if you have the paid version then there, you're gonna see more and you're gonna have more options but for the time being uh, I, I never use the paid version so this this does a trick usually for me if you click on apply repair and remove old part you will see here that now we have the name of the file which was tire and NetFab basic has placed behind it between brackets repaired 100% so this is good that's what you think but then when you click on the right button and you want to go for export STL sometimes you will see this popping up and that means that an additional mistakes or an additional issues will be taken care of if you just go with it and say optimize now we have the green check mark and you can export it to wherever you wanna place your file and with that file you can run to your printer and start printing so it's easy as that I hope it helped you it helped me already multiple times and I'll talk to you later bye bye